look at this tree. Yeah, I'm a Midwestern guy. Oh, geez, honey, look at that tree. It's so pretty. Well, it is. It's beautiful. It's orange. The flowers are pink, and the grass is green, and the sky is blue. And now that we've stated the obvious, it's a beautiful spring morning here in San Diego. Today's Thursday. It feels like Friday. <sighs> uh, going up a little early today. It's 1018, and we've got work to do. We got the transmission um, bolted to the engine yesterday on the 550. Today it's got to be torqued down. It's 28 newton meters for all the M10s and a touch less for the two M8s at top, the top of the transmission. Uh, so that's happening. We would love to get the drive shaft in today and the heat shields, uh, probably not exhaust. We need to wire the reverse sensor and verify functionality, uh, not only of the sensor, but of my, my thought process of actually wiring that. And there's like 50 different versions of, of this pinout um, on Nutis for wiring. And it's a little bit weird. Uh, that they're all different. Some of them say not auto, some of them say not manual. Well, what is the SMG? It's, and that's not an auto. It is a man, it's considered a manual. Like when you decode the VIN of that car, before we started working on it, I did that and it says manual. The SMG was considered a manual in that sense, but I think it follows the automatic uh, wiring diagram because the manual diagram I found, all of those pins are not occupied. <sighs> all right, before I talk for an hour, I'm going to Escondido. Good morning, it's uh, Thursday night or Friday morning, whatever the hell here. Um, today's been a crazy one, and unfortunately kind of a um, slow day in terms of productivity. We had some uh, things really slow us down today. We've got a clutch line leaking, a hydraulic line leaking right at the clutch master cylinder at the pedal, where that goes down to the hard line, comes out of the pedal, goes down six inches uh, over towards the transmission tunnel, through the firewall, and then to the clutch slave cylinder. And it's leaking where the hard line meets the master cylinder. So we took it apart, replaced the O-ring yet again, replaced the fastening clip yet again, pressed everything back into place. Uh, we're bleeding the system from down below. Bubbles want to rise in fluid. So why try to force them down, out, down and out the bottom? We're just pressing them up from the top uh, with the pump and the bleeder valve open on the slave cylinder. Uh, but it's leaking there consistently. So I replaced the little elbow that comes out of the clutch master. It's like a 35 degree elbow um, with a, a known good used part and it's still leaking. So I think it's the hard line, which sucks because we just got the transmission on and bolted into place. And if we have to replace that hard line, we're gonna have to take the transmission off to do that. And then quite possibly um, the clutch pedal at a minimum. And that was hours and hours to install as well. So. We'll see, need to get in there in a fresh head on Monday morning and kind of figure it out. In the meantime, Larissa has been here tonight. She came over, we watched the tail end of a Laker game. We got dinner, she got us um, Jersey Mike's for dinner. I've been packing, we've got a trip coming up tomorrow and over the weekend, it's kind of a fun one. Uh, we've got a flight tomorrow morning. Let's hope it goes better than, was that back in, in February? We did the last car pickup, so uh, let's hope our flight does not get canceled headed north tomorrow, so. Um, I'm going to go finish packing, getting things in order, get to bed, get some rest. We'll talk tomorrow on a travel day and, and then a bit of drive. So it'll be a lot of fun. Good night.